What's going on everybody and welcome back to FBA Capital and today I'm bringing you guys another daily range case study on none other than NAS 100 and before I get into this video I just wanted to make this known yes I haven't been uploading as much the past week week and a half two weeks just because I was on vacation in Florida but with that being said we are back back at the setup back in back same routine I was live this morning so if you're able to watch that then you're gonna know that we're going to be going over that trade soon so with that being said let's get right into this daily range case study on nas 100 so first things first i'm going to be marking up the previous day's high so yesterday was right here the 31st today is june 1st we got this previous day's high and then we have the previous day's low all the way down here as you can see both the previous day's high and the previous day's low did get ran through today so that is going to be something i do keep in mind so we have that and now i'm also going to mark up the asian session range so from right in here to midnight is going to be our asian session range and the reason i drew the box is just so i can get rid of the other indicators just like that then i'm going to get the third part of my three point outline which is going to be the 12 a.m open so there's going to be a few areas and price that i want you guys to bring your eyes to i want you to pay attention to this high this low this high and this low right here i think those are going to be the main points that i want you guys to pay attention to i also want you to pay attention to this high that was created monday and this low right here it's gonna be a few areas that i want you guys to pay attention to but this should be it right here so the first thing we're going to do is now that i have this high and this low drawn out this is a fib that i'm going to be drawing from monday's high to Tuesday's low and why from there to there because this is the current range in which price was trading in before it traded into this fib short right up here so now you can see that we're starting to add a little bit of a confluence in this area now mind you this isn't the only confluence we have this fib short from this Monday high to this Tuesday low we ran above cleared the liquidity above the previous day's high and what is it at this previous day's high? At the previous day's high, we also have one, two, three highs. Cleared the liquidity, tapped into what level? 12,800 big figure level. At what time? 9.45 in the morning. So let's start to annotate this. So we have the high of the day at 9.45 in the morning. So we have the high of the day, 9.45 a.m. Plus we have that fib short. Plus we have 12,800 rejection plus previous day's high false break just like that and those were the confirmations that we had for why price ended up creating this high up here and why it reacted the way it did and came to the downside and mind you this is also above the 12 a.m open and what do we know about the 12 a.m open ideally when you're bearish you want to be selling above and when you're bullish you want to be buying below the 12 a.m open and in this case we were bearish Got the high of the day, cleared all this liquidity, traded into 12,800 big figure level, cleared the previous day's high. Let me move this over a little bit more. Just like that. And then from here, price dropped with that 10 o'clock news that we had right here at that 10 o'clock news. Price ended up dropping. And then what happened? The London session lows were targeted. So I want to annotate that. This is important because when you're ideally having these reversal trades like this, a target that I always tell you guys to target is the Asian session highs and lows and the London the London highs and lows. So let's do this. London lows cleared. And I like to do this because when you're looking for these reversal setups, this is one of the things that you need to see happen. In order for this to be a real reversal setup, you need to see the London highs and lows get ran through with the New York move. Just like this right here. Price ran below the London lows, cleared them, and then came all the way back below, creating the low of the day. All the way down here at what level? At 12,500. We created the low of the day. At what time? 12 o'clock. So let's start annotating all these things. So we have the low of the day at 12 p.m. plus we have the previous day's low false break plus we have that 12500 rejection along with what else do we have we're going to do this right here we're going to go to the 30 minute time frame 
or matter of fact i'm gonna go to the hour time frame and i'm going to be drawing a fib from last week's low which is right here to the current week high and i'm going to see if we had a 38.20 percent rejection i don't think we did no we didn't okay so what what I, what I was about to do does not matter no more i was going to see if we had a fib but we did not so this should be all the confirmations that we have and also we were below the 12 m open making this a pretty ideal area for price to more than likely try to go long and as you can see price did just that okay now i want you guys to bring your attention to the second part this area right here why is this area important because say you didn't catch this short right up here you still could have potentially caught this drop just like this boom it didn't even tap into this mm, it's like a rock and a hard place it's kind of a did it reject the 50 percent yeah it was just a 50 percent retracement right here so i'm gonna have that just like that we ended up having a 50 percent retracement and where did i draw the fib from this high which is the high of the day all the way to this low so the previous day's high to the previous day's low false breaks that's why i drew the fib came up had a 50 percent retracement tapped into 12650 which is a mid figure level 650 mid figure and then from there price ended up just dropping and coming back down to 12500 so let me just annotate that so we have fib short 50 percent plus we had the 12650 mid fig just like that and now we have the high of the day the low of the day we had the london lows that got cleared and we have this potential re-entry at the fib short that you could have potentially caught and also if you look to the right we had a retest of the asian session low right in here so let's make that orange so you can see it just like that and we also retest the asian session low so let's put that in there also plus asian range low retest it just like that so now we're going to get our schematic of what happened today computer fan by louder shit right now so what happened we had the asian session range Then after the Asian session range, London came, created the lows. From there, price created pushed higher, created the high of the day. For eventually pushing down, retracing the lows, and coming back down. So overall, it was just a reversal day for the pair. There, where, let me put this right over here to the left. So it was an overall bearish New York reversal. High of the day was created during the London session. Low of the day was created during the London session also. Not London session, the New York session. Highs and lows of the day were both created during the New York session. And both were false breaks, surprisingly. We had a false break of the previous day's high and a false break of the previous day's low, making the low of the day and high of the day, which is pretty funny. But with that being said, now I'm going to screenshot this. And I'm going to make sure I send it in my Telegram group. So if you're not in the Telegram group already, make sure you join it. The link is in the description. It is free. I am active in it every single day. Sending trades and along just talking with everyone else. And I also send links sometimes here and there to my Zoom sessions that I do with Martin. So if you watch the live streams, you would know about that. But with that being said, I hope... I hope this video was helpful in any way, shape, or form. If it was, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, or even share the video with a friend if you found it helpful. Or even if it just gave you a little bit of an insight on how I personally view the market. And that's really all I have for you guys. Excited to get back to work. Excited to get all these videos pumped. Excited to have a good week. Let's finish this week off strong. Stay productive. Stay active. And I'll see you all in the next video.